trees contacting with power lines, cars hitting power poles, and deterioration or damage to conductors and insulators can all cause outages on electricity networks with high voltage overhead power lines. In rural districts, the distances involved and time it can take for field staff to find the source of the fault and restore power supply means customers can go without power for quite extended periods of time. On average, rural households and businesses in the Orion New Zealand network area in central Canterbury experience up to six times more interruptions to their power supply than those living in urban areas, and those interruptions can last up to ten times longer. For dairy farmer Jeff Stevenson, Power supply interruptions don't have to be long ones to cause significant inconvenience in terms of time and loss of production. One of the greatest problems we have is that um, if it flicks off while we're milking, naturally you get 50 sets of cups hit the platform, the cows are not all that happy about it, and also the milk that's sitting in the plant then drains out, so that's a bit of a loss of income for us, but it's just the actual time that we lose and then of course we move into the, the next problem where it'll cut back in and then it'll cut out again and we lose the cups again. So if we can eliminate those sorts of things, uh, it's extremely helpful. In many cases, faults are quite minor in nature. It's just that for safety reasons, the network is designed to automatically shut off the power supply. But exciting and innovative new technology is now available that keeps the power on when things go wrong. Called a ground fault neutralizer, it reduces the amount of electrical arcing at the point of fault occurs on the network, reducing the level of threat to human life and minimizing the risk of fires. It achieves this by injecting an equal but opposite current into the ground, neutralizing the effect of any earth fault, and importantly, maintaining continuous power to homes and businesses. Ground fault neutralizer technology has been used throughout Europe for the last decade, but the Darfield substation, inland from Christchurch in central Canterbury, is the first commercial application in Australasia, possibly the southern hemisphere. It's part of the Orion New Zealand network which delivers power to 20,000 rural customer connections via over 3,000 kilometres of 11 kilovolt lines. The company will progressively install further units across its network and has commenced marketing the technology to other electricity lines companies in New Zealand and Australia. Orion was recently granted exclusive distribution rights by the manufacturer, Swedish Neutral AB, based in Stockholm, Sweden. Established 10 years ago, Swedish Neutral has manufactured more than 100 units which are now installed throughout Europe and the UK. Basically, everybody who suffers from power outage is our customer. Uh, uh, so uh, utilities around the world are mostly our customers, but also uh, major industries like steel mills, power plants, uh, who have trouble when there's a major outage in their network. Yeah? Uh, the RCC takes care of uh, this problem in, in a gentle way without uh, cutting power to the uh, uh, customers. Orion's use of Swedish Neutral's ground fault neutralizer confirms the technology greatly reduces the number of outages in rural areas, improving overall reliability by between 20 to 40 percent. The ground fault neutralizer can even detect potentially faulty equipment, alerting Orion staff to the problem before it causes an outage and further contributing to network reliability. It also improves the quality of power supply. Transient faults caused, for example, by a tree branch touching a power line can cause momentary disruptions and are noticed by customers as flickering lights and the need to continually reset clocks, pumps and equipment timers. This can result in problems which aren't immediately apparent, such as water reservoirs failing to refill, loss of data on home computers and wear and tear on equipment from frequently switching on and off. Um, our biggest problem that we would experience would be a, a typical power failure um, probably in the, hour, in the evening hours after we've gone to bed where we've set up our irrigation to irrigate right through the evening um, and if, we, if a, the pump shuts down early in the evening uh, it'll shut down our centre pivots because once the water pressure drops our centre pivots which are actually diesel driven and totally independent of any other supply because as you can see we're in the riverbed here we don't have electricity out here except for at the pump shed so the diesel pivot drives will shut down and then 
we don't get to start it until the following day when we get up. Uh, the pump may be okay to start, but the diesel won't. So we've, through that evening, we've lost valuable hours of irrigation time. And during periods of high evapotranspiration rate, which is uh, the months of December, January, February, we would never catch up. It's, it's very important. They, these systems are all designed to put on the maximum amount. But if you pull out 24 hours or 12, even six hours out, um, you're falling behind and you lose valuable growth. In arid regions, a significant benefit of the ground fault neutraliser is its ability to prevent arcing, which is a frequent cause of rural fires. In central Canterbury, the Selwyn Plantation Board manages 6,000 hectares of forest and experiences several lines related fires each year. In the, uh, in the rural scape in New Zealand, fire is obviously a major concern and it normally comes about where we've got high intense uh, winds and freak wind events, which is also the time when trees and, and the like and branches will come across an arc on, on power lines. So certainly when you've got those extreme winds, it's very difficult to control fires. They get large and, and very complex to uh, extinguish. So obviously this technology, by eliminating that sparking element on, on branches or trees coming across lines, is a fantastic solution in terms of eliminating uh, a number of rural fire events that can become very extreme in New Zealand. The ground fault neutraliser is the most important technological advancement in electricity distribution in the last 40 years, delivering a more reliable and better quality electricity supply and enhanced condition monitoring and public safety. It has the potential to set new benchmarks for electricity delivery throughout New Zealand and Australia.